uploading Excel into Power App is a very common requirement that you definitely would have encountered. Hi everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my Chai Classic Power App. In this video, I will be explaining you how you, we can actually upload the Excel data into our Power App. I have already created the video on that, but after analyzing the comment, I got to know that I have missed some steps that makes viewers confused like what approach I have used and how it was working. So this is actually the new version of that video. Okay, so I provide the link of that video in the description of this video. So this was the approach that I have used in that video. What I was doing in that from the power app, I was uploading one Excel file through the list attachment control. That list is actually the SharePoint list of mine. So I was uploading one Excel file from the list attachment. Then my list, that file that is present in my list attachment would be transferred to one document library using my Power Automate flow. Then once my file, once my uploaded file comes into the document library, I have used the Excel connector to access to read the rows present in the Excel sheet. Later, I send those rows as a response back to my Power App. And in the Power App, I have stored those rows into one, one of my collection and presented this collection through the gallery control. So I find people are got confused at these two stages, how they can read the Excel rows and how it would be sent to the Power App. Upper two stages, they are very clear with that but below stages are actually make them confused so i decided to create new video just which is only explaining these two steps okay so without wasting some time i'm just navigating you to my screen so here i decided to create the same case okay so let me just open my one of my app not a, let's create the new app blank app and canvas only and let's say excel data okay if i go with the approach list attachment first my file would be stored into, into the list attachments then it would be stored into the document library so i am assuming that you know how the file would be stored to to the document library you can use any approach either you can you upload the file through the list attachment or you upload the file directly okay so i'm just assuming that you know how to upload the any file into any sharepoint library or any cloud storage data whatever you would like to use you can use any cloud storage either the onedrive folder or maybe the sharepoint or maybe any other okay so i'm just assuming that you know how the file would be stored into any document library okay so i'm just trying to explain you the below steps so here on the app i have uploaded one excel file into one of my sharepoint document library whose name is uploaded files and it is present in my production site this is just my name of my product and sharepoint site okay so in that excel i have some data i want that data to be presented in my power app so for that what i need to do is i need to create one power automate okay so i'll go with the power automate and add the new and i will create the new flow click on the new one so since this needs to be add triggered from the power app so i use the blank start from scratch okay so that needs to read the excel rows first okay because the file is already stored into any folder so i use excel online character and use the action which is my list rows present in a table okay i use that one and i need to just add the location so my site was the production site Uh, SharePoint site, production site, this one. Document library was my uploaded files. So I use uploaded files. In that file, I have that file book one. And in that, I have the table. Okay. 
so right now i'm just passing the static values because my file is already stored and i have only one file there but if i would be doing this from uploading the file from the power app in that case i need to pass the dynamic content okay so the motive is just to show you how the excel rows would be read and would be stored into the power app so i get the x rows from this step now i'll use one action that is the initialize variable and i use one variable let's say it's my where and the type i'm using is to be array because the rows that whatever the rows would be read from the excel would be would come like a row array okay so i'm just storing trying to store the response into one array variable so here i'll pass the values here the list of item values because i need all the values to be stored in that array variable okay so i pass value once i pass the value I add one more action which is sending the response okay so i write response might be it comes with a steep deep something not this one how can i write that okay so here i have this response although this is a premium connector please keep in this in your mind so this would actually send the json type of format or the array type of values okay at the place from where your power automate is actually triggered in order to get the response we have two different type of actions either we use the respond to power app action or we use the response respond to power app is actually used to pass to send the either any type of uh, string type of variable or any type of numeric type of variable or maybe the date and time type of variable but this response but that would can't send you any type of json or maybe any type of array okay so in order to pass this type of data we use this connector in the body what do we use we use this variable and here we need to pass some json schema okay so i want that json to be created from my power automate itself so i use get excel this is my just my name save it okay so i get this app inside here and now i add one button which is actually triggering my flow so i use get on the on select on the on select i need to trigger that flow okay so i since that flow is getting some data that data is in the json format or in the any type of a, a list of data okay so it should be stored somewhere either in any type of variable or maybe the collection since that would have some rows of data so it would be stored into the collection so i use clear collect function first and collection name i use col cell data and now i run my flow get excel dot run since it i need not to pass any type of argument so now what i do i simply call this once okay once i call this now i come back to my power automate edit and i need to check my logs of this flow so that i would get the response that can be used to generate the schema okay so from where i can maybe not from here i need to go with the power automate okay so here in my flows i would have this flow 
this is my excel data if i open this i can check the logs and it is succeeded if i just try to expand this i will get get those data so what i need to do is i need this okay it is not showing me i can use that as well so this array is having some data i need that data to be presented in my system so i simply copy the whole okay and make this edit and in the response in the schema i need to generate it from sample and i'm pasting the same data here only once i click on this done I can see this is type of array okay and I got all the things like the item ID title quantity discount whatever the column is there okay I need that schema here now I simply click on the save button and come back to my power app again and now refresh it one more time and i add one gallery that would be showing me the data if i get that data okay so i use gallery and this would make data okay let's try to check now if i click on this button i get the data here okay if I come back and try to see the settings, not from the settings, but from the from here, I get the collection. So here you can see I have my data here. Okay. If you would like to see others, you can see like for the title. Okay. This is for the uh, quantity so here you can see I get my data and that data is actually stored into my excel sheet okay so that is how we are getting that excel data into the power app now we can once we get that data into the power app we can use that data either to store into our database or do any type of customize or any type of comparison with the database you can do whatever you would like to do okay so i've explained only these two steps i have highlighted only these two steps because i find that people are got confused with these steps that i have used in that video okay if you haven't watched that video please watch it out first okay then after you can understand it very well so thank you everyone thank you everyone thanks for watching this video and if you still get out in the in this app in this uh, concept like how we can get the excel data please write to me i'll come with the you know on a chat with you okay because i have helped to many other viewers of mine like who just try to contact me over my linkedin or maybe any other place i simply try to connect with them and try to resolve their queries okay so thank you for, for watching this video everyone thank you